This video is intended as a quick start for users of Excel Cubed Excel Edition. All functionality is available on the Excel Cubed ribbon or the Excel Cubed menu and the Excel Cubed toolbar for previous versions. So to connect to our data, we firstly go to the Connections dialog. We will then add a new cube connection by clicking Add and then select the New Connections tab. This will present a list of possible data source types such as analysis services, relational databases and big data sources, but for the purposes of this video we will be using analysis services. So we select that and then type the name of the server or location we want to connect to and we click connect. This will present a list of all the databases at this data source. So click on the database you would like to use, in this case we will be using AdventureWorks. And then, as this is on an analysis services server, we're then presented with a list of cubes from which we will select AdventureWorks. I could use additional cubes at this point, however for this session we will stick to just one connection. I can now add an Excel cubed grid, which is our equivalent of a pivot table. And the report designer lists all the available dimensions and hierarchies on the left hand side. So I can choose how I want to position those within the report on this screen. So I will drag measures into header or filter area. I can then drag calendar date onto column and geography onto rows. I'm also going to add the product categories dimension onto the header area to further filter our results. If I now click on any of the selected hierarchy, the content of that hierarchy is displayed in the member selector on the right. I can navigate down through these members, dragging anything I want to use onto the right. If I click on calendar date, I can see the content of that hierarchy and I'll select calendar year 2012. With the drop down I will select the descendants at month level and for measures we will use reseller sales amount and we will leave the other hierarchies with nothing selected which means they will use the default member. At this point we have finished designing our grid and we are ready to click on OK to insert the report. So let's do this. And there we have it, a very simple Excel cubed grid based report. We will use this example or one very similar for subsequent videos which we can navigate through and show some of the many strengths of Excel cubed grid based reporting.